So, I've been living in L.A. for a while now, doing what I can to make it here, and I have to admit, so far, not bad. My agent has already scored me a couple of auditions. Oh, no, I want to watch her dance. <laughs> and I've even managed to create a little bit of buzz around my upcoming stage show, Third Eye Blonde. Check it out. Nice. Oh, but it's not all bronzer and vodka shots here in paradise. This is my husband, Tyrone Fowler Jr. A smoking hot dude, yes. But he's a man with a checkered past. You've aged very well. Did you sleep with her? One time. Hi! <laughs> And considering our wedding date, our second one, that is, is fast approaching, Ty and I have decided to seek out the services of a professional. No, not that kind. I'm talking marriage counselor. Hi. I'm Johnny. I'm Carla. Nice to meet you, Carla. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, Johnny. I'm Ty. Nice Ty, to meet you. Ty, please come in. Who's this? This is Simba, our lion. Hi, Simba. This is the Darn Christie Retreat. And Dawn Christie sat and designed this to balance spirit, mind, and body. I'm feeling more balanced already. Ty and Carla, this is the formal dining room. This is where we sit down and have a nice blessed dinner. I feel like some jousting takes place afterwards. And where would you sit, Carla? Maybe where, you know, Sir Lancelot would be. Let's cross over and see some of the other treatment rooms. I feel when you say let's cross over, we might go into a whole other time dimension, though. Don Christie wanted people to come and feel that this is like a spiritual oasis resort. I feel like somebody took a Polaroid of my mind, and this is how it manifested. Carla and Ty, are you ready to meet Don Christie? I think yeah. so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. I don't either. I'm a little nervous. I'm breathing deeply. Christy. Hi, Don. I'm Carla. Hi, Carla. Nice to meet you. Oh. Nice to meet you. So we're here to get some marriage counseling. I want to see what's going on right now. She's very, very um, sensitive. Both of you is very connected to the universe. She's so connected to God and what you need or what you should do. You're in heaven already. Do you agree with all that so far? Anything you want to add to it? OK. Relationships have not been good. They suck. They're not good at all. It's like she opened up and trusted every soul that said, I love you. And when they made love, then it was over. Whatever. That is not entirely accurate. No. She's definitely in love with you. She would never marry you for money. It feels like there's some kind of wedding date where you want everyone to share this love. This broad is the mayor of Crazy Town. I think Don is way more than just your average marriage counselor. I'm guessing psychic here. Seriously, everyone I ever met in LA is either an actor, psychic, or realtor, or all three. In the beginning, before you met her, did you respect women? What's the answer? Not the women I'd been, been around, but. Okay, no, you have not respected women. Did I feel loved as a child? No. He might be a man, but he's female. He has a female soul. He didn't get any zero nurturing. You need hugging, not sex. He's a baby on empty. He didn't get milked. Women open up their legs too fast. She's really easy. Bam! <laughs> Before I go further, do you agree with everything I've said so far? I'd ask zero. Zero. Nothing. Poof. Zero. Is there other things you want to talk about? Or Because I know you're coming for counseling. That's where God is. You see, he usually stays in the solar plexus. Even though her feet's down here, she's up. Are you prepared for a family ever? Because there is a child coming. I mean, I'm not saying right now, but there will be children. Children? There's a child. Children? OK, I was cool with her jumping up on the chair and even speaking in tongues, but I got to draw the line at children, plural. Seriously, am I having a litter? Thank God I'm late to meet my agent. Got to go. I have another appointment. Thank you. I'm really happy for you both. I mean, I want to be, I want to come together. You OK? Yeah. I always like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
was whack. Some Donna Summer impersonator and her effeminate husband and his little dog told us our whole future. She was dramatic. Nothing shocks me here, but that kind of did a little. I will say this. I dig the fact that Don said that my head or half of me is always in heaven, so anything I spew is righteous. <laughs> Sadly, I'm going to have to descend from heaven and return to Earth here, because I have a meeting with my new agent, Norm. I'm a little worried he may be too nice to be an agent. He needs to be more of a prick, but so far, so good. I have a meeting with my new agent, Norm. He's awesome, and he's really enthusiastic, tons of energy, and he's a businessman, and he's always a handsome bastard. Sharp-dressed dude, always in a suit, got some good plans, and I think more important than anything else, he really believes in me. And uh, he's got a pretty young agency, roughly the same age as my breasts. And he's pretty hungry, he's a hustler. Oh, good to see you, good <laughs> to see you. All right. Look at you, Slick. Oh, no, yeah. So, tell me a little bit more about you and your comedy stand-up. You're still doing that? You're still going to classes, um, workshops, and things of that nature? I'm trying to get up um, in as many different clubs right now to work out my material. Absolutely. For the one-woman show. Right. So, any clubs you can get me up in right now, I'm really trying to workshop the, the stage show. Right. You need to always make sure that you're razor sharp so when you do get the call that you're going to be natural. Don't worry, Norm. Parts of me are natural. <laughs> <laughs> I love My that. heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We need to make sure that you're in front of these casting directors on a normal basis. We need to get in front of these casting directors so that they can know who you are. Okay? How do you stand out? I mean, because, like, everybody, garbage man, waitress, everybody you meet is an actor. Everybody's actor, got that singer, slash, whatever. right? Yep. <laughs> singer, comedian, so... You gotta be able to prove to these guys that you can get the job done. They're gonna see it. Walk into the room and be who you are. One time and professional, I don't have to worry about it. That goes without saying. It's kind of like my mom's basic thing. If you're, if you're not honest, you're... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she's like Yoda, isn't she? So we just want more and more exposure for you right now. That's our goal right now. Do you need me naked in a sandwich board walking up and down Sunset? You no, know? I don't. No? <laughs> Chanting Zeppelin lyrics? I love don't you. Don't judge too soon. You don't know. I'm thinking I need a sex tape. I need to go into rehab. I got to shave my head bald. Tell me if I'm wrong. I've been watching America from afar for a while now. You are, you are um, fine. I'm already on a second husband, so that's good. <laughs> That bodes well. I'm a, I joined the Kabbalah. I don't know if That's there's any cool. other advice you have. They're going to get it. Everybody else does. When you walk into the room, they know who you are. Well, if they don't get it, quite then frankly, I don't want them casting exactly. me. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, no. Yes, I do. You I'd be a dancing cast. tampon for the right price. <laughs> so, true to his word, Norm totally delivers. Dude's already scored me a sit down with one of the biggest commercial casting agents in the city. But this scene is a bit like speed dating. I only have about five minutes to convince her that I have the it factor, and not the cousin it factor. Hi, Carla. Hi, how so are nice you? So nice to meet you. Nice Daniela Scanazzi. Thanks so much for Absolutely. meeting me. Absolutely. Have a seat. So tell me, you're from um, Canada? Yes, yeah. from Toronto. Tell me about yourself, please. I never know how to explain this without coming across as world's tallest midget, but, you know, I had a pretty high profile <laughs> in Canada. I was, my face was on trash as it was. <laughs> Do, do you feel like you're starting from the beginning here? For a while here, I just had a visa that was good for stage performances, which <laughs> limited it to stand-up and stripping, and I picked the, the less paying gig. <laughs> Only with a lap dance, you make 45 bucks, and with comedy, you pay for your own parking. That's exactly. what I found out, actually. <laughs> so do you prefer doing, like, your own TV shows, or you do stand-up, films? Ideally, I would love to do uh, television and films. Mm -hmm. Stand-up, I really do to keep sharp. I'm doing a, a one-person show, like a stage right. show that has backers. You write all your own stuff. I do. That's awesome. So they put a bunch of money into it. Are you doing it here? I am in Malibu, That's coming awesome. up. Um, in Malibu? Yeah. What's in Malibu? Look, I want to stand out, baby. <laughs> I don't want to be like all the ladies waiting for you who are doing stand-up shows in West Hollywood, which is just so 1999. That's normal. Right. <laughs> what, where, I, really, are you doing it in Malibu? Malibu Stage Company. Oh, that's... Never heard of this. <laughs> it's gonna go well. I hope I can get you a seat, Danielle, because clearly we are going to be sold out in Malibu. You're hysterical. I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, thanks. Is there anything else you want to cover? I, do you have any advice or what would you say about going? Because again, it's still relatively new with commercials. Is there anything? Just so no being nuggets you, of wisdom. It's not about anything in commercials. Like you know, it's all about being real, being you, being funny. 
Kathy Griffin used to come in for me a long time ago. Really? And she did, now, she, you know, what she's doing, she's doing really well, but. Yeah, my life on the she, D list. I'm on the yeah. Z list. I'm like, I don't even know what she's on with Anderson Cooper. I'm hoping to get a couple of the kids in the hall on my show. You know, it's just. And that's exactly what you do in commercials. It's just stuff like that that, you know, makes them laugh because they're seeing 300 people on tape yeah. and it's like the five people that would stand out and you would be one of them that they would go, oh my God, oh, let's bring okay. her in. Uh, it was so great meeting you and I would totally bring you in for a lot of stuff. Oh, well, thank good. you so much. My pleasure. Awesome. Oh, you oh, you're sweet. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank good you luck so much. To you. And I'll thank definitely you. see you again. Okay, that went slamming. I love her. She's phenomenal. I don't think that's the norm for industry meetings, I gotta be honest. She's just like a rocket chick. We totally just made plans to go out, we're gonna have a girl's night. I mean, we'll see if there's any follow through, but I feel good now. That's all you can count. You know, I gotta be honest. At first I had my doubts, but after only a couple of days, my new agent Norm has booked me FaceTime with some of the biggest players in the casting biz. You're hysterical. I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, thanks. And the hits don't stop coming. Hey, Ty, I have an audition tomorrow. For what? Another commercial. Excellent. Go, Norm. It's a local supermarket. Must look like she's from Houston, Texas. Down home, girl next door. Hang on. She can't be an actress or a model. Well, I'm never going to get this. <laughs> Mustn't look L.A. There's a note from the casting director to me. Watch your hair. What does that mean? What does it mean, watch my hair? Yeah. Apart from the fact that it says Los Angeles <laughs> straight across the front of it. <laughs> what about just something like this, then? Without the flash dance, Jennifer Beals action. Do they wear doilies? No. Can we don't really see? Yeah, it could work, too, but. It's OK. Here's every Texas woman I've seen. Huge hair. Ceiling fans beware. Tons of makeup. It's exactly the off. No? Three quarters of your wardrobe is right out the window. I got Ooh. it. Uh, Idiot, why do you shop at HEB? Are you going to wear both hats? Yes, I like I'm going to wear both I, hats because like it's skipped out. This. I, I think this, that this and jeans. Belt. That jeans, boots. So we're going to go jeans? Can I wear jeans? You told me not to wear jeans to an audition. Buster, nothing. He does not, no help. Buster's <laughs> waiting to see you in the outfit before okay. he makes a comment. All right, we're good. We're done. Yeah? I didn't get dressed. Are you sure that's the girl next door? Like, if, if I walked into a room, you wouldn't think L.A. at all? You'd think girl next door? For you to be girl next door is a, it's a stretch. Aww. But. That's adorable, but for many people, I'm sub girl next door. I've never seen a neighborhood with a lot of, you know. Hookers. Five, five foot <laughs> ten inch gorgeous blondes and. Aw. So I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna lie here with my broken leg. Don't go anywhere. All right. <laughs> Lynn, you're in for some full frontal nudity. All right. I found the perfect little house on the prairie blouse to wear to my down home Texas casting call. Norm tells me it's like a woman on the street improvised audition. Totally my thing. Oh, I've got this nailed. Or not. So you know it's not gonna go well when the second you sit down, a lesbian comes up to you and says, take off your lipstick. Apparently they don't wear lip gloss in Houston, Texas. Didn't know that. To LA, you look to LA, you're sounding to LA, and I'm from frickin' Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. So really, how's that possible? Crap. It's fine, shake it off. It's always softcore porn. Well, now that my schedule's not cluttered up with any pesky, high-paying, high-profile national commercials, I think I'll take Norm's advice and use my free time to work on my comedy skills. Okay, I'm on my way to Hollywood because I'm hosting Fries on the Side tonight. It's a local sketch troupe. They're really good. It's kind of like Saturday Night Live, but without the cameras, I guess. So I'm a little bit freaking nervous about the whole night. There's a lot that you have to remember, and I'm like, so nervous before shows. Uh, as you know, our host tonight is Carla Collins. What we're going to do is we're going to cast the material right now. We're going to take about an hour to rehearse after we take about a 10 or 15 minute break, and then we'll, uh, then we'll get going. This is the sketch we do in the band, uh, Grand Rabbit. We're a married couple, and we're doing uh, marriage counseling. Playing a man named Gary. No. Okay. So wherever I see Charlotte is me. OK. Yeah. OK, great. What's the girl with the rock? Good, yeah. 
All right, so it's 7.20 right now. Be back here at 7.35, and we will start rehearsal. First one to rehearse is on leave. I can't believe we're talking about witches being the cause of global warming. Then prove what I'm saying is wrong. This improv stuff is insane. I mean, you get the scripts a couple of hours before the show, then you get like 20 minutes to read through, and then you're straight into rehearsals. Mommy. I'm in three sketches, so I'm shaking like a chihuahua. I'm playing an agent. They're not a copy of you, they're a compliment to you. And compliments are good. A nerdy wife who's married to a homosexual. Ah, oh, see, we're making it work. <laughs> and, uh, and I kiss a chicken one. <laughs> Pretty nice little Saturday night. Uh, and I'm just trying to learn my lines now and figure out what I'm going to do in my opening monologue. I don't know why I do this. Apparently, I'm masochistic. I'm talking very quickly. I don't know. I think it's just an adrenaline rush, and it keeps you sharp, and you got to push your limits, and it's more exposure, and it's an L.A. troupe. So, you know, I'm trying to get some street cred. So I'm very relaxed, very zen. I'm going to throw up all over you. Can you just move one smidgen away from the teleprompter? Because I'm cheating like crazy. It's literally just like you're getting ready for your right. actual set. You've got to have your business going on over here. Let's do the whole thing over there. Okay. I'm sorry. My shuffle is really good time. Thanks. Good to know. Like the first one's like, good to know. And the second one's like, yay. No, it's variation you want. Yeah. <laughs> Change it up, Carla. <laughs> As opposed to Captain One Note. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah. What do you think the, the funniest daddy would be? Do you want me to I think, for Yeah. Care? That works for me. <laughs> I'm going to leave game. Here's the problem with this show. I kind of start concentrating on the sketches because I don't want to look like, oh, she's not done this before, because I haven't. And uh, I'm not really sure. Now my monologue is like, I'm going to need a Sherpa guide to even remember what I'm doing. It'll be all over the map. I don't know. I'll just feel the audience and throw up. I do a lot of throwing up. I don't know if you noticed that. So here I am at the Fries on the Side comedy show. And although I think I've got a pretty good handle on the sketches, it's my opening monologue that's got me sweating like Tom Sizemore before a urine test. Rebecca will give you a cue and she'll be like, you know, it's ready for you. All right. And then you walk out and the lights are coming up. Cool. Magic. 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 And then magic. Oh my god, so. yes. Magic for eight minutes solid. Oh. Ah. Actually, I fake not having an orgasm. I've got it down to an art, keeps Junior down there a lot longer. <laughs> Honesty is just not what I'm looking for in the boudoir. I'd be more into a Nixon. You know, some lies, videotape, a deep throat or two, I could do that. <laughs> Maybe a George Bush Sr., where he pulls out too early and then his son has to come in and finish the job. <laughs> Why does every man, woman, and small farm animal want to get with Angelina Jolie? Well, for one thing, she's walking around with her <laughs> right on her face, and... <laughs> Uh, sit back, have another beer, and enjoy. You were there and swinging it. Yeah, you like it. I like the on the lips. So who doesn't? Right. And I, I, <laughs> I tried some new stuff. I'm just working yeah. out my craft. Right, exactly. Well, I got through my monologue. Now I just have to get through 40 minutes of sketches. Thank God I'm hopped up on Diet Red Bull and anxiety. Super duper. Good to know. What the <laughs> is your problem? <laughs> what she's wearing. I told you, I told you I'd change. You can change at the break. You're a turd burglar. You're a urine ass pirate. You're, 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 you're sacking happy flaming cheese. <laughs> Really good time in the sketches, especially Bernice. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Some of the new stuff went over okay. The weird thing is that my phone has been off for hours, so hang on. Hey, Carl, this is Norm. Awesome, my agent. Always a good sign. I know that you're good at Oh my god, okay, so <laughs> I got a call back on that horrible local supermarket thing. The one with the little Annie Leibovitz lesbian chick bitch slapped me for having lip gloss on. Got a call back. There's just no rhyme or reason to this town. All right, going in on Monday. Not gonna wear lip gloss. Important safety tip. <laughs> Love it. 
Next time on Carla Wood, in phase two of his master plan to turn me into a Hollywood superstar, Special Agent Norm introduces me to a force of nature, AKA Gloria the publicist. Hopefully, you will hire me. Hello. I'm gonna be, ooh. <laughs> you guys are gonna give me a hand. Right? And there's nothing Gloria won't do to get me some exposure, or overexposure. I was just supposed to come today and walk the red carpet. Carla Collins. <laughs> I'm modeling. <laughs>